This is your weekend market review for Sunday, June 16th, 2024. Let's go. Hey everyone, this is my channel to help investors and traders develop a probability-based mindset to succeed. Also try and keep friends informed of what's going on in the markets and the economy, and also a little real estate content as well. This is Dan Max at EXP Realty, aka The Trading Agent. These are weekend market review for Sunday, June 16th, 2024. Hopefully you're having a good weekend. Happy Father's Day. Um, I'm back at it. Took a week off. Did some fishing. Got time to reset. A lot of stuff going on in my life. So hopefully you did not fall prey to, again, not having stops, over committing to things, being stuck. Because again, in trading, remember, it's a probability-based game. You will lose. There's going to be times where you make mistakes. There's going to be times where trades work. Some don't, and you have to be honest with yourself. So if you're new to the channel, check out the Discord room. A link description below. We know going into this week, it's triple witching OPEX. The market's playing games. Certain names are leading. Yes, five names for the most part were up last week. When you review a lot of this stuff, you go, wow. And am I saying like five, like the biggest weighted names were holding the market up and seeing tons of divergences. How will that play out? Well, let's get into it. We know the economic activity's falling off a cliff. We know overseas, they're already starting to cut rates, how bad things are. And again, if you noticed, I think it was the French market it was down 6% this week or last week. Cutting rates means that things are getting worse. Typically, that's the cycle how it is. Remember, rate hikes, as I've talked about, have a lagging effect, meaning you raise, 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 you don't see the effects till six to nine months. Well, they cranked up rates really high. Right? They had to. We had incredible amounts of inflation. Going into an election year, we'll see what happens. So, if you got any questions, please check out the Discord room. Link in the description below. I appreciate all the love, support. You guys are the best. Also, follow on Twitter, posting a ton of stuff. Man, this is crazy, some of the things that are popping up on the Twitter feed. But if you want to check, please use the Cali link below. Let me know how I can help. Take 30 minutes. It's all free consultation. Just love to chat, see what you what you need help with, whether it's in real estate, looking to buy and sell or invest in real estate. I got you covered anywhere in the country. I promise you, finding the best agent. Do, do your due diligence. You'll get two agents for the price of one. And if you're looking to invest, oh man, that's my favorite part. Anyway, we'll get into that another time. Also, check out the website at tradingagent.com. Check out tons of resources. If you have any questions, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It means the world to me. Also, again, tons of educational videos everywhere. There's, there's tons of resources. If you need help, don't hesitate to reach out. I don't know why I just clicked on my LinkedIn, but yeah, I'm on there too. All right, so check out this. Fed fund target rate, we talked about the not the first rate cut is not scheduled until potentially September. We have July. And so my thinking is they won't cut rates unless things are getting bad. Well, how bad are things? I don't know. We'll see, going into this week, I know they're talking about the immigra uh, an immigration bill to naturalize everybody or whatever you call it. Everybody that's come across the 8 million people also heard rumors that Biden's going to drop out of the race. Tons of things. The odds of Trump winning now are at like 70%. It's a whole bunch of stuff. What will it mean for the market? We'll only know when we see it. Watch the levels though. Bitcoin, 71,000. Can't get over it. Might be coming right back down to the range lows, which would be somewhere in the 58. Oil, as we've talked about for a while. I don't think there's a huge downside. I know OPEC's trying to control inventory as normal, but... The U.S. has to refill the SPR. So I don't see prices getting negative, but I also see, again, not a ton of upside because of demand destruction, economic slowing. Natural gas, we've talked about, this has been probably the best trade that we've recommended. Again, there was little downside at a dollar, whatever, low, mid one dollars. We talked about taking some profits. All right, cool. Making new highs, and then you should probably expect coming up to three dollars and change. Again, I've gone on record. Long term, <clears throat> love natural gas. I would just be waiting for pullbacks. If you're looking to add, if you're trading around your positions, great. Congratulations. You're doing amazing. The dollar. We talked about holding up. I mean, the rest of the world is an absolute disaster, right? We actually unpinned. Saudi's unpinned from petrodollar last week. Interesting to see the strength. We'll see how that holds up. PLT, as we've talked about. Mm. Once we said this, once you started kind of making higher lows here, testing the trend line, we like the upside. Look at this. Again, they will be buying bonds if they think inflation is coming down, but also, too, people want to return on their principal. I'm telling you, it's a fear trade. I always say this again. It's not necessarily how fast or like the move in bonds. It's how fast. That tells you the velocity of people running into bonds will tell you if there's fear out there or not. Looking like it's kind of starting to wake up. The VIX, again, man, it's just mind-boggling to me, honestly, how it can hold here at this low end of the range. So just keep an eye on it. Even, I mean, to me, and again, this is why it's so hard. If you're long, short, long, short, pick your positions. 
be careful. VIX, holding lows, SPY. Check this out, right? Gaps out. Said this in the Discord room. Again, that's if you want to get full access to me, and, and honestly, I, I have to advertise my friends in there. I mean, they're great traders. I appreciate their insights. When I'm out of town, I am glued to the Discord room, paying attention to what they're up to. And again, I appreciate you guys so much. You really mean the world to me. Because again, not only great traders, but I think great friends, people I can talk to anytime, rely on. Uh, the SPY, we talked about this gap up, three-day now trading range. I mean, you can go with. Breaks below it, goodbye. Goes above it, I guess it could go higher, right? Again, watch Apple, watch NVIDIA. They've been playing games, right? QQQQQ, holding up pretty well. Got to give credit where credit's due. This is what's so hard about the market. Is you look at the Qs and the volume dying, it just continues dying as it rises higher. But then you go look at the IWM, and here's again, some traders in the Discord room. Love you guys, doing great. Shorting the IWM makes sense on pops. Maybe oversold near term, but man, I mean, the great trade. Some of you guys are just absolutely hitting dangers. Love it. Here you go. Dia lagging again. Dow was leading forever. Now it's lagging. The only thing holding up is the Qs. Spot's holding up. I mean, you gotta give credit. Gold on record. Again, wait till the Fed's pivot. I could see this playing a sloppy, choppy trading zone, or I could see it absolutely getting blasted. Either way, I don't see there's much upside. So leave it alone. Silver, same kind of thing. Leave it alone. Talk about the double top. You're welcome. Holding the 50 day for now. GDX, again, if you bought the dust in the sixes, sevens, you're looking pretty good. Talk about this as being a bull trap. Talk about the head and shoulders. Like here's the right shoulder. All right. Keep an eye out. All right. GDXJ, junior miners typically lead, right? Leading down. Not much you can say there. AEM, we again, this is a name I like long term. I think they're going to do better than most. I mean, I don't mind seeing this thing pull back. It's been acting well. AG, this is what's confusing, right? Because if you're not, I'm not confusing, but this is why you look at the evidence. You're like, if silver's about to break it, then why the hell is First Majestic just blah, 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 flopping again? Leave a like if you appreciate all of the sound effects. I mean, these are piped in like Jim Cramer soundboard. Bye, 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 bye. I'm just kidding. Just do all this with my mouth, just playing around. But here you go, Newmont. Talk about this one. I mean, this people remember like Newmont was in the 80s and 90s. If I remember right? Yeah, 80s, almost 90 at one point. Look at this thing again. Hmm. Why is it not catching up? Pass. Silver stuff. This has been acting really well. Put a candle or put an arrow on this candle. Said, watch high volume highs. Mm -mm. Bottom or top. Now 50 day. Chop it around. All right. PSM, again, some of these names I got stuck. I mean, this is the thing. You stop out. You don't have an ego. You know, losing is part of the game. Here you go. Three-day range. Watching Macron. Micron. Speaking of Macron, he's toast in France. Keep an eye on this. Because, again, I thought that might be the top. You broke out. Let's slide this over. I'd be watching this stuff going into triple options. Again, quad witch and opex. It's going to be wild. That, in my opinion, absolutely wild, especially with the options game this day. AMD, I mean, we've told people just to leave it alone. Blah. NVIDIA, again, got stopped out of some stuff, but then started buying NVDS. I like it up here again, buying NVDS because I don't think there's much upside. I mean, you do the math. Oh, yeah, now 10 for one split. You have to realize what that really does is increases liquidity. There's a reason why Berkshire Hathaway does not do splits. We can talk about that another time. SMCI, some of the boys in the Room trading it well. Jay Solsus, I know, is doing work. He was buying calls on this on this up move. Hallelujah. Talked about taking profit here. Yep. So far, so good. I mean, nice trade. I mean, again, you just catch one of these day candles <laughs> buying options. You hit a home run. Think about it. Say you bought the eight, 15 calls when it was at 800 for 2 or $3. And it goes, zing. That's how you make some good money. Again, find a risk, be willing to lose. I mean, it is options. Uh, intellectual property. Again, I've been told by folks that, again, not only in the Discord room in general, like, oh man, this is such a good buy. And I'm like, okay, can't even catch a bid. I mean, this is the thing. It's like listening to Livermore stories and like the market's holding up and like names aren't falling. You got to be scared shiznit of those names. Now, again, can't mean that Intel couldn't get any little rotation, but it's just not leading. SMH holding up pretty well. Again, if you got stopped out of Soxis, that's part of the game. I mean, just don't, don't do that. Adobe. Put an alert on Friday, said, watch the 100 day here. I know there's a gap up on earnings. It was oversold. Not surprised they gapped it up, but no one was buying during the day. So again, 
three day rule watching during options or sorry options expiration once this thing fails 100 day i think it has plenty of room downside apple look at the fruit just going bonkers i mean this is blow off stuff right there y'all i mean huge volume straight line moves after a decent move up nice trap i mean again this is what thank god you have stops again if you didn't have stops i don't know call me hit me up we need to talk about psychology why do you not have stops self-worth issues are you trying to make it all back are you trying to gamble and i know some traders now are looking at it like yeah that makes sense like that wick is dangerous amazon we talked about the double top right chopping around okay talk about the 100 day i guess you can just pull this box all the way over here get over this range bullish breaks 100 day bearish it's really absolute i mean you've got to love when it's binary shit meta oops excuse my language and we talked about shorting up here moved up held up now look where it's at sorry i don't want to have these drawn over keep an eye on this area again this is the thing people are like oh you were wrong it's like tell me all your trades are you right on every trade no the best thing you can do is try to be probability based and define your risk and that's the thing you're gonna have trades that turn into monsters and you have ones that you just lose a little and you're like thank god I only lost a little because it got a lot worse crm talk about being oversold gaps up chopping around this kind of looks like post google this name's been stuck in the mud that i was looking at that the other day i forgot like i'd be watching that because big doji's at highs after gap ups and if the volume was bigger i'd be a little more worried or bearish but then i look over to the left i'm like man they were distributing on this day feels like a trap for bulls microsoft this one rallied again keep an eye on these names ndaq again i think nasdaq is toast long term here you go micro strategy got nothing right i mean it's it, it leads bitcoin and in my mind if it breaks hmm this 50 day i mean it, you're coming right back down to this area pretty damn quick in my opinion i mean that's the thing watch the trades watch the levels trade accordingly mr softy i oh, sorry ne netflix and chill netflix and spill i okay it's holding up credit where credit's due i mean again i think they have zero future growth meaning like anything to really anticipate but hey people are piling into it credit where credit's due roblox chopping around we talked about this gap down being oversold rallying okay i mean it's just trade it as you want pan w i mean this one's interesting i missed this week look at this held the 50 day right back up into our zone again long term very bullish on this because pelosi's buying it if pelosi's buying it we know cyber crime we know all the crap's coming she knows insider trading at its finest tesla tesla here you go gets over the 100 day but this is where it's so sick look at this traps out comes right back and they, they, everybody's just sitting here going scratching their head going what happened keep an eye on that one i don't know we talked about incy it talked about like looking for stocks that have volume and gap ups off lows again put this on your radar i think they're a buyout target at some point i mean again i don't have any information on this other than just something something's up here someone's like give me all that stock but then someone's obviously unloading so it's like a break even keep an eye on it dkng we talked about this one being oversold near term not surprised it bounced back to the 20 day again if you shorted up here you took some profits looking to reshort around the 40 area hey bueno nice job good work right here you go airbnb we talked about this gap down and look at this choppy range just wait, wait for the 200 day i mean this is where sometimes being patient like pretend this is a 10 minute chart and you would have no problem but since it's the daily you're just like ah, i gotta go i gotta, gotta go it's like no just be patient let it play out because when it goes it'll be a big move Costco holding up damn well. Can't give it. There's nothing to say there. Starbucks. Some of our homies talked about hitting the 50 day. Now it's the 20 day. Back testing like this channel. You will break the 20 day. Again, I think this will get crushed in time. It's just will happen tomorrow, next week. Don't know. Uh, Federal Express. Again, here we talked about being oversold near term, rallying, chopping around. I mean, this is not what you expect out of the industrials if the market is working. Gonna, is the economy is looking good. Same thing with Caterpillar. We've talked about this. We shorted the 100 day. I mean, just printing money slowly. Slow is good. Slow and steady wins the race. New core. Again, another industrial that should be on fire. X, right? Again, I think they will get bought out at some point, but this thing's just getting stuck in this 36 range. Ballet, right? Oh, global growth is on fire. It's amazing. You should be buying. We talked about this. I mean, this is getting to the point where it's getting really stupid cheap. Keep an eye on it. Arrow, we talked about how copper started leading down a couple weeks ago. There you go. Keep an eye on it. CCJ, again, I, I'm not a fan of Goldman upgrading the highs. I think this at some point takes a bath, and when it does, then you can come back in. 
CF, again, we'd like ag long term. People got to eat. But these names have, I mean, let them get murdered. I'm telling you, just let them come down. Let materials get slapped. Let them get slapped. NTR, AA, all, just let them get slapped around. No reason to be a hero. We'd like A again. You'd like aluminum, right? XLF, this has been a good trade. We talked about this trapping now the 100 day. Again, I think banks hold all of the risk. JP Morgan, we talked about this. If if he's not buying back his stock at highs, why would investors? I think this one has plenty of room to drop. We talked about Morgan Stanley, Stanley Morgan being a trap up here. You're welcome. Now it's at the 50 day, maybe oversold near term. Just keep an eye on it. Bank of America, chopping at the highs, credit where credit's due. Goldman Snacks, again, if you have a Marcus account, you should be feeling pretty comfortable making new all-time highs, really nothing to worry about. But this is, again, watching the banking sector. I'd be watching for this to flag out. I mean, you can see what's going on here. Do, 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 do. It's like some sort of flag system. Again, you can draw it how you want. Watch the 50-day range lows. Carrie, we talked about how junior banks look like crap. Gets to, you know, break out back at range lows. Watch. I'm telling you, if this stuff breaks, adios, amigos. Three amigos. Saw Martin Short and uh, Steve Martin show this weekend. Amazing. Great job, guys. They're freaking hilarious. XL, uh, what? XHB, we talked about the housing names, right? Watch the levels. Right, let's end it with some of these solar names. Because in oil and gas, look at solar, right? Talk about it being trash. Crapping up here. I mean, again, how do you want to draw? Like, this is why you don't draw exact lines. I don't know. Just watch this, watch this stuff. We talked about Sedge. No one will, no one's going to ever give me credit. I, and I know they won't. Remember when it was at 300 and I said this thing's going back down to like double digits, low double digits? Again, leave a comment below if you remember that. ENPH, we talked about this name. Again, getting, watch this area. First Solar says we're going to do AI and solar. Of course you are. Duh. Chat GPT. Look at this. That, ooh, again, I, Apologize, I haven't done a recap. That to me looks like the trap there. And look at this. I'd watch again just for oops and giggles. Watch this area. Remember, this thing's wide and loose. Ten cuidado. Uh, HYG corporate debt. I'm like, you got to be high to your mind. Look, every gap up sold. Oil and gas. We'll end it there. Not surprised by some of the action lately. Oversold, bouncing again. I hate the UNG. I think the KLD was a straight short. Look at that. Maybe a double top for that piece of crap but KLD here we go again if you short it up here in the 80s talk about taking profits bounce back again I think if you are smart again we don't really like to char chart this but just be watching this because I, I you should be looking for bounces the short that's my guess XOP we've talked about look at this going sideways bounces uh oh takes out the range lows takes out the 100 day 200 day that's not stuff you see if the economy's strong. Valero, it's like the oil and gas name. We talked about the gasoline names, not looking good. MPC, these things have been on fire. They're chopping, holding the lows. Exxon Mobil, we talked about, like, watch the 113. You're welcome. Again, put out these levels, watch the trades. Again, if you're doing well, let me know. Leave a comment below. I appreciate it. CVE, we said the 20s. Look what happened. Ret row raggy, right? right? Ret row. Occidental, I know Buffett's buying as much as he can, but he just doesn't care. He's selling calls, he's collecting his dividends. This thing's a big, choppy, sloppy range. EQT, can't let these names come in. Let it come on in. Talk about don't chase these things. And last but not least, Flex LN Jizzle. Look at LG. Again, I think we'll be natural gas exporters. I know some people are like, oh, I'm going to buy it. I'm like, don't do it. Tell me tell me you're not buying it up here. Don't chase it. Look, they bought it at 28, 29. It comes right back. I'm like, ugh, don't do that. Patience, grasapa. I appreciate all the support. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Hit me up on Calendly. Again, if you're thinking about buying or selling, investing in real estate, tell me right now. The real estate market is a crap shoot, depending on where you're at, depending on the price points. Again, interest rates fluctuating very minimally, but again, people in this psychology is what the problem is. People are feeling scared. If you have any questions, holler at your boy. I'm here for you. Peace.